We are living in a world that's getting more and more digital by the day, actually by the hour. Since most jobs or gig applications have you submit your resume digitally, why not take it a step further? Hi, I'm Rihanna, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about traditional resumes and what I think is a better alternative. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would love for you to receive notifications as soon as I post new videos. What's more annoying than having to update your resume or tailor it to a specific job that you're applying for? I update my resume way too often. How often do you update your resume? If you have time, take the poll that just popped up on the screen and link details in the comments below. I'm trying to see something. I think traditional resumes are transitioning to websites and or video resumes. Similar to a traditional resume, keeping my website updated is a pain in the <laughs> Video cover letters, which are essentially video resumes, not only are they much more efficient, but they're much more fun and they showcase your personality. After this video, be sure to check out my video resume. It's not super fancy, but it gets the job done. But why did I create a video resume? How did I do it? And what are the responses that I'm getting since I've completed it? Well, don't you have to keep watching to find out? I created a video resume to better showcase my personality. I have way too much personality to limit myself to one page. I'm pretty sure a lot of you all feel the same way. Everyone has an opinion about your resume, but what do you think about your resume? Creating a video resume will benefit everyone. Not only does it help you brand yourself and showcase your personality, but it's one less step for agents when they could just simply send the link of your video resume to the client. How did I create my video resume? Well, first and foremost, I had to do some research. I had to see what's out there and what a video resume entails. After doing a little bit of searching on YouTube, I noticed that not many of the people that were giving video resumes were brand ambassadors. And you all know our industry is a little bit different than your traditional job. Many of the video resumes that I saw online still lack personality. Some people aren't great in front of the camera, but for people like me whose personality is their strength, video resumes will definitely benefit you more than a paper resume. I wrote down what basic information I wanted each client or agency to know about me. I created my entire video resume off of my smartphone. Since I uploaded my video resume, believe it or not, I got contacted by agencies and other brand ambassadors telling me how awesome they thought it was, how great of an idea it was. Lots of agencies are saying that they're going to transition to video resumes anyways, and that I kind of just jumped the gun. So I guess I was on the right track. Here are some basic tips to help get you started with creating your video resume. Create an outline. This outline should include how long you want your video to be, if you want to include any creative aspects, and whatever you want to highlight in your video. Maybe you want to talk about some skills. Maybe you want to do a short introduction of yourself. Whatever you want to do, make sure you plan ahead. Number two, make sure your smartphone or recording device is stabilized. You don't want some kind of wonky footage moving all over the place. If you do have a tripod, go for it. Use it. Maybe you can be super simple and lean it up against a water bottle, which actually leads me to my next point. Number three, you should make sure that the lighting is great and that you look flattering. Try not to have your camera looking down on you or looking up on you. You want it to be straight on. Number four, which might actually be the most important tip of all, be you. Clients and agencies want to know who you are. They want to see your personality shine through. Your video does not have to be super extravagant. Most people just want to hear you introduce yourself. Start with that. Lastly, feel free to step it up by using some video editing tools. I myself have an iPhone, so I could use iMovie. However, I've been using Adobe Premiere Rush. I hope those help. Is this something that you can see yourself creating? Or would you like to stick to the traditional resume? Thank you all so much for your time and watching this video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you can receive notifications as soon as I post new videos. But that's all I have for you all today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you again next time.